Hi guys, today I am here to do a book haul. I have a whole bunch of books behind me and they're all flipped around because it's secret. You can't know what they are yet. Um, anyways, these are just a bunch of books from Penguin and I bought a couple and I think there might be a couple from Simon & Schuster, maybe? I don't know, we'll find out. But anyways, let's begin the book haul. So the first book that I have, I picked up after seeing the movie trailer and I've been seeing a lot of other like booktubers and bloggers and stuff reading this book recently and that is Me Before You uh, by Jojo Moyes. Uh, I think that's how you say her name. Um, but I have wanted to read this. I mean, I've seen it around and I'm like, oh, that's, you know, that's, that's a pretty cover and oh, that's, I might read, no, and I just never picked it up. And I saw that movie trailer and I was like, oh my goodness, I had to read this right now. I think I got it like the next day and I read this within two days. And guys, I gave this five out of five stars. I loved it. I am so excited for the movie. It definitely was really sad and it definitely made me cry. So this is about a girl that kind of has lived in the same little old town her whole life. Uh, she lives with her parents still and she kind of helps them with their like bills and things. She's had the same little job in this little like bakery forever. She has like a steady boyfriend and she's like in love with him but it's just it's not like the all-consuming kind of love. It's just kind of just like there this love, this relationship, and uh, no, no sparks or anything by any means. Um, and then she meets Will, and she ends up becoming, she loses her job, she gets laid off, and so she becomes Will's caretaker. She's hired by his mother, um, and Will had an accident, and he used to be, well, he still is, really wealthy, uh, and he had just a pretty fantastic life, and he really lived large, uh, whereas you know, Louisa kind of lives um, very small. And so they have very, very different lives, but then he uh, was paralyzed, and so he is in a wheelchair, and he really cannot do anything for himself, really. And so that's where Louisa comes in, and she, you know, feeds him. And um, he does have, like, a male nurse that kind of uh, takes care of his other needs. She's just, like, a companion to spend time with, and um, she just spends her days with him. Um, so their relationship, th you know, the friendship that grows and on is just so fun to read about and I I just love this. I loved it. I did hear that there is a second book. Um, I think it's like Me After You, I think is what it's called. So I do want to pick that up at some point. If you guys have read uh, both those books, you should let me know which one you liked more in the comment section. But you guys should let me know if you've read this or if you're excited about the movie. I, I've already, I've watched the trailer like 10 times at least, and I think that it looks like it's going to be a really good adaptation. It looks like they've kept a lot of the things the same. The actors that they have chosen just look phenomenal, and I am just so excited for this movie. Next, I got Lady Midnight, and I went out and I bought this like the day that it came out at Target and for some reason though, it's taken me a very long time to read. I just finished this last night and yes, it's a pretty huge book, but I have read like, I don't know, how many books? Six, seven, eight, nine, I've read, this is like my 10th book or something by Cassandra Claret that I've read and I, I'm a huge fan of hers and I just normally go through her books very quickly. I think that I just really wanted to savor this story and I knew that it's going to be like another year or whatever before the next one. Um, so I think I just kind of was reading it a bit slower but it definitely is not like slow paced or boring or anything like that. Um, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I do plan on having a book review up this week. So I will just talk about it more then, but I loved this story. So this next book I was sent by Penguin and it is a beautiful cover. Uh, it is Wink Poppy Midnight and this is by April Genevieve uh, Chuk Olk. Mm, I usually try to look up the how to say these authors' names beforehand, but I didn't apparently on this one. Um, anyways, this is a uh, mystery kind of thriller book that comes out March 22nd. So when I'm filming this, that's actually tomorrow. 
And this cover is just really beautiful. I'm a big fan of this cover. I think it's gorgeous. It's really pretty small. Um, and it says, every story needs a hero. Every story needs a villain. Every story needs a secret. And I believe the three characters' names are Wink, Poppy, and Midnight. Wing and Poppy are two girls, and Midnight is a boy kind of stuck in between them. And it says, one summer, one bad thing. What really happened? Someone knows someone is lying. That's all it says. So I'm really excited to read this. Um, I just think it's going to be really an interesting read for sure. So this next book was also sent by Penguin. So it's called Rebel of the Sands, and this is by Alwyn Hamilton. And it's another beautiful cover. It's it's so pretty. Uh, on the front it says, They say she'll always be more gunpowder than girl. The desert has other plans. So this is a kind of fantasy romance adventure story. It came out March 8th, so it's already out. This is the first of a series or a trilogy. I'm not really sure how many books there's going to be. But I know that it is about a girl that is in... I believe her mother has passed away and she's currently living with her aunt and uncle and they are very abusive and just really terrible people to live with. So she's trying to get away and get out of this town um, and she is looking for an escape. And she enters some sort of like shooting contest where she meets some foreigner and he is kind of like her escape. So um, from there it just the story goes on and I, I think there's like magic maybe in this story? Uh, I'm not really sure. But I've heard good things so far from from this book and I'm really excited to read this. This is actually the next book that I'm going to be picking up so I'm hoping that my review for this should be up by if not the end of this week it will be like the very beginning of next week for sure. This next book is very interesting sounding. Um, it is called Where Futures End and it is by Parker Peavy House um, and on the front it says one of the most ambitious YA novels I have ever read by Tommy Wallach, author of We All Looked Up. I think this is kind of like a sci-fi, I, I don't know if it's actually dystopian, but it's young adult and I believe this came out uh, last month on February 9th. And let me just read you what this says. It says five teenagers, five futures, two worlds, one ending. One year from now, Dylan develops a sixth sense that allows him to glimpse another world. 10 years from now, Brixney must get more hits on her social media feed or risk being stuck in a debtor's colony. 30 years from now, Epony scrubs her online profile and goes high concept. 60 years from now, Reef struggles to survive in a city turned virtual game board. And it says, and more than 100 years from now, Quinn uncovers the alarming secret that links them all together. Five people divide by time determine the fate of us all. These are brilliantly connected stories of one world bent on destroying itself and an alternate world that just might be its savior unless it's too late. It says, in the future, who will you choose to be and how will you find yourself before the end? I have not, um, I don't know anyone that's read this book yet, but I think it sounds really intriguing and I definitely like books set in the future and I like you know, that kind of um, storyline. So I am excited to read this. This next book I was sent by Candlewick Press and it came out on March 8th and it is A Tyranny of Petticoats. It's edited by Jessica Spotswood and it's 15 short stories of bells, bank robbers, and other badass girls. I really was interested in this because it's a bunch of short stories. I don't read a lot of stories like that so that was pretty interesting. And it is historical fiction, and I love historical fiction, so I've been kind of looking for more stories like that. Another reason why I was really excited about this is it says 15 original stories from, and then it lists all of these authors, including some of my favorites like Marissa Meyer, um, Beth Revis, Marie Lou's on here, a whole bunch of other fantastic authors. Um, this next book sounds really 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 good but it's called exit pursued by a bear super interesting title and it's by e.k johnston she's the author of a thousand nights this is a ya contemporary this just came out on march 15th it's not very big it's another pretty small one this has to do with a girl in high school is a super popular cheerleader and one night she goes to a party and I believe her drink was drugged and she actually ends up getting raped and she also gets pregnant. And so I just heard this is a super powerful story about um, just kind of 
overcoming like trauma and like the friendships that kind of last and just about labels and high school and all of this kind of stuff and so it's pretty short but I've already heard a few people um, say they really really enjoyed this book it came out March 15th so it hasn't been out that long but I definitely want to get to this really soon this next book actually has been out for a little while it is um, it came out January 26th I believe and it's like a YA kind of um, like romance fantasy story I believe but it's called The Love That Split the World by Emily Henry and it says Natalie's last summer in her small Kentucky hometown is off to a magical start until she starts seeing the wrong things. At first they're just momentary glimpses. Her front door is red instead of green. There's a preschool where the garden store should be but then her whole town disappears for hours fading away into rolling hills and grazing buffalo and Nat knows something isn't right. Then there are the visits from the kind and mysterious apparition she calls grandmother who tells her you have three months to save him. The next night under the stadium lights of the high school football field she meets a beautiful boy named Bo and it's as if time just stops and nothing exists. Nothing except Natalie and Bo. I've heard that this is kind of like a mix between Friday Night Lights and the Time Traveler's Wife and I love the Time Traveler's Wife. So this definitely is pretty intriguing sounding. So while I've heard a few mixed things about this book, I am interested to read this. I actually like sometimes reading books that I know have like really mixed reviews from like other booktubers and other book bloggers that I follow. It's just kind of fun to find out like where my opinion like falls with all of it and just to see what I rate it. But um, I, yes, definitely it's, uh, interesting sounding for sure I can't really decide like if it I mean it says that it's a mixture of like the time traveler's wife so is there actual time travel in this or what I don't know so I was sent these next two books the paperback versions and I have already read Rebel Bell by Rachel Hawkins and I loved this story it's so much fun and I was also sent the second book Miss Mayhem I love that they the paperback version is like this pretty blue it's beautiful um, but I never I haven't read this one yet so I really really want to this is like YA like paranormal but it also is, like, it starts out like you think it's a contemporary story and then it for sure, like, goes paranormal. But uh, it's it's just, it's so fun. Like, I just love the main character, Harper and David, and I'm really excited to see what happens to Harper and David in this book. Uh, a few of my friends uh, I've heard said that this one wasn't quite as wonderful as this but I'm excited to read it and get my own opinion about it. Honestly I think that this series is so hard to describe. You guys should let me know if you have read this if it's like hard to explain to other people. I don't know why I think it is but this is just so different and just it's so fun though. It just the whole Southern Belle thing but then mixed with like the paladin like ninja fighting like I don't know it's such a fun like yet strange story to me you guys should let me know what you guys thought of these two books especially the second one so this next book I received it came out on March 8th and it is book two of a trilogy it's called map of fates and it's the sequel to a conspiracy of us which I have I have but I haven't read yet uh, it's by Maggie Hall and I believe the first one had to do with like this super rich family but there are you guessed it conspiracies and I think that there are people that are that were actually trying to kill the main character I think there's a bit of like romance and kind of a love triangle as well I could be wrong on that but I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly um, so anyways I have heard fantastic things about this these two books so far this trilogy and so um it's pretty short like I feel like uh, this book haul has a lot of really short books maybe it's just because I read Lady Midnight and so this uh this big guy right here it just kind of makes everything else like it just dwarfs everything else but anyways you guys should let me know if you've read these two books yet because I'm excited to get started with this trilogy. This next book I think was one of like the just out of all these books I think I was the most excited to receive this one um, I mean, I'm talking about like review books, and that is The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead, and this comes out April 5th, so it's actually not out yet, um, this is just an art, but it is a YA kind of romance fantasy, and Rochelle Mead is one of my all-time 
favorite authors with the Vampire Academy series and the Bloodline series and Soundless. I just love her. So I'm going to read whatever she puts out. But I have just, I haven't got to read this yet. I, I think about it all the time. It just sits here on top of my piano and I see it and I'm just like, I can't get to you yet. I have other books I have to read first, but um, I know this is just out in like a couple weeks. But this is about a girl that I think... I'm not sure if it follows three girls or one girl because when I kind of read different like synopsises and it kind of sounded like different things. Anyways, the main girl is uh, I believe very like wealthy and she is trying to avoid an arranged marriage and so she sneaks out and she ends up pretending to be poor and like a servant and she joins this group of like impoverished girls who are about to be trained uh to become like proper ladies and join like the glittering court i think that there's like this guy that's kind of teaching them all and the main girl ends up falling in love with him and she's kind of trying to hide though because she can't tell them the truth she has to lie to everyone so that she isn't caught and she really i think just is looking for freedom and she's trying to get it like i said out of like this arranged marriage and just this life that she has led so far so excited so excited about this book <laughs> also i think this is going to be a trilogy um as well so hopefully there will for sure be a whole like separate video about this book after i read it but i'm hoping hoping that uh, maybe like the first week of April I can read this book. I'm so ready for it. All right, so this next book I have, um, it is an arc and it is called Flawed and it is by Cecilia Aaron, maybe? I don't want to say that. But I believe that this is a like dystopian story. Uh, it, this is the author of P.S. I Love You, which haven't read that book, but I watched the movie, and Love, Rosie, um, and I believe that was just made into a movie, pretty sure. Um, anyways, I'm not 100% sure what this is about, because it talks about um, this main girl being like the perfect person, essentially. It says she has a perfect life. She's a model daughter and sister. She's well liked by like all of her classmates and teachers. And she's dating like the impossibly charming Art Creven. Um, it says she encounters a situation in which she makes an instinctive decision. She breaks a rule and she now faces life changing repercussions. She could be imprisoned. She could be branded. She could be flawed. Uh, and it says in her breathtaking young adult debut, best-selling author, um, Cecilia Ahern depicts a society in which obedience is paramount and rebellion is punished. And where one young woman decides to take a stand that could cost her everything. So being really honest, um, this sounds kind of like a lot of other dystopians where you just kind of have to you know, follow the rules or you get like killed off or branded or flawed or something. I'm not really sure. But this actually isn't out yet. It comes out April 5th, I just found out. I also forgot to mention that, um, that this is actually from Macmillan and like Fierce Reads. Um, this next book is also from them and it's called The Square Root of Summer by Harriet Reuter Hapgood. And this is also a, um, an arc and this is actually out uh, in May. So this is about, it says this is a semi-magical summer romance with a time travel twist. This main girl uh, is, it says 17, motherless, a math genius, and she's losing time literally. It says when the fabric of the universe surrounding her sleepy seaside town begins to fray, she is hurtled through wormholes to her past. And it says like she's flung back to one summer where like her grandfather died. She's flung back to the afternoon that she falls in love with this guy named Jason. She's flung back to her childhood best friend Thomas like the day he moved to Canada. Um, and then it says that you know her grandpa is still gone but this summer Jason and Thomas are back and her past present and future are about to collide and be changed forever it says with time travel quantum physics and world stopping kisses this stunning this stunning YA debut is an exceptionally enthralling story about love loss and figuring it all out this sounds really good and the last book that I have to show you all is half lost by Sally Green and this comes out March 29th, so it's not out yet, but it will be very soon. This is the third book in the Half Bad trilogy. And I read the first book, I think it was about two years ago. 
and honestly I enjoyed it and this is about witches if you didn't know this is a paranormal um, trilogy but I definitely had some issues with I guess the book and so I wasn't really for sure if I was going to continue on since then I have been sent the second book and then now the third book so I feel like I just have to continue on and read them and see what I think now um sometimes you know trilogies like it just you know you need the first book set up and like the foundation set and then the rest of the books are amazing you guys should let me know if you have read half bad if you've read like the second um what you thought if you thought it was better or like just your thoughts on it and then you'll have to get your hands on this one because it comes out really soon March 29th and that is it that is all of my books so I hope that you guys enjoyed this book haul you should let me know if you have read any of these books or if any of these books are like on your TBR list or anything like that if you guys have not you should check out my book blog it's actually my tumblr like turned book blog and it is just priceswong.com it's I am now like a part of bookware um and I just love Bookler so much and I post on it every single day and so yes check it out if you would like. I will have an Alcrate unboxing up really soon. I'm gonna have my Lady Midnight review up very soon and then I will have the Rebel of the Sands book review up probably next week. So many videos are coming soon to you guys but let me know if you have any like video recommendations or anything like that in the comment section and also I'll have some links for these books in the description so check those out and I will see you guys very soon. Goodbye!